Hi everyone, it's Secret here, and I was going to do another canvas on cardboard that I have back here, but instead I decided to make, make some jewelry, or a piece of jewelry, and as always my jewelry is inspired by mixed media, so I consider it wearable mixed media jewelry. Uh, what I make, I can only make once, really. I'm sorry. I'm actually yawning today. Okay, so what we have here is my big old mandrel. Usually what I have along with my mandrel are socks. Basically I would put a sock full of sand here and a sock full of sand on the other end and work that way. But for some reason I can't find my socks. And I don't have any sand right now to remake it. And anyways, it's looking around on Pinterest. Although I've done these many times. They never look alike, but I've done them many times. Um, uh, eight years ago or so. Everything's always eight years ago. Uh, they're basically going to be bohemian, gypsy inspired, mixed media inspired bracelets. And I'm going to go ahead and use this wire. It's probably something between a 26 gauge wire. And I'm going to make it as simple as possible. Um, so let's do this. So actually I'm going to use this thicker one. This one is much, much thicker. It's probably something like... Uh, kind of feels like an 18 gauge, maybe even a 20, but more like an 18 gauge. And it's recycled. I probably have used it many times because it's kind of kinky or kinked. And you guys know my videos are not short. I like talking, chatting. So in reality, really, really, I should have my sock. Let's see, I have toilet paper right here. Let's see. Oh, that'll be fine. There we go. So I want them to be to move around. So I think I'll do it somewhere around here. And I pulled out the speed. Now I don't see myself using the speed, you know, in another project. I see it more in this project. Like, I wouldn't wear these as earrings, nor a necklace. But I think I can throw it into a gypsy looking, mixed media looking bracelet. So let's give that a go. So, just going to go under my wrist mandrel. Now, we could get fancy, but I don't want to get fancy. We can hammer all of this. But since I'm covering most of it, you guys, I don't know if you could see, but I have my sari ribbon, some yarn, and some twine. I mean twine. This is not twine. Uh, tool. And some of this stuff that was in Happy Mail. Let's see what we use. Um, I might want to bang it out a little. Hang on a second. I'm just going to bang it out very slightly just to get the kinks out somewhat. Okay, that's good. 
I don't want it to slip off completely. Okay. Then I'm going to need some room to wrap around. So I'm going to give myself some excess. Better more than less. It's going to be simple. I'm just going to throw this in here. It's not going through. Shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, we got it. I want to be able to slide it off when I'm done wearing it. Hey, a piece of glass just came out. That's not cool. I need to discard that piece of glass before it ends up on the floor. Hang on a second. <laughs> So I was saying I want to be able to slip slide it right back off when I'm done. Okay. So right around there. So I'm just going to twist it here. Let me zoom you guys in. I just give it a twist there. And I'll lay this in here. And then I'm going to give it a twist in there. Just because I can't find all my tools and if you know me I'm never ready. You should call me the never ready. The never ready channel. The girl that talks too much. <laughs> it out because I can always reshape it and what I'm gonna do is probably 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 run it through here 
and I could probably also shorten it. If I want to do simple, just run it through there, but I'm going to do it a little more complicated, just a little. Run it through here, just so that it has a movement, a spring action. It can get warped, it's fine. It's perfectly fine, it can get warped because we can throw it back on the mandrel. And I can cut it actually now. What I do with my tool? I can cut it now. And of course I would file that later. And I can care less if I get scratches on my copper. No big deal. Uh, if I were selling this in a boutique, of course I would care. But this is going in my personal collection. And of course, uh, anything's for sale. Well, not anything. But this could be for sale or I can make one, another one. If you guys like. To purchase one, money's always good. And oh, check money order, PayPal. I have PayPal. Every time I'm recording, my dryer goes off. Have you guys noticed that? right back. And now I can show you guys. It's going to have somewhat of a spring to it. Okay, probably could have made that bigger. Let's see what I can do to make it bigger. I actually wanted it much bigger than that. Yeah, definitely want it much bigger than that. But, let's see what we can do. Oh, I know what I can do. Use a smaller bead. We'll figure it out. Everything's fixable. I got it. I got this, I got this.
right there. Okay. Trust me, it's going to look gorgeous when I'm done. Is that another piece of glass? Yeah, it was. Okay, that one, this one. Will not be for sale. It seems like the more it moves, the more glass it sheds from the inside. Okay, I'm not gonna move it much. Once I'm done, it's not going to move much anyways. That's good enough. Let's begin. So I want to wrap it with this stuff. If I can find the end, or if, if there's an end, I'm not sure. Let's make our own end. Let's just cut a piece. And I'm just going to tie a knot. Let me take it off. I'll work with the mandrel in a second. Do you guys hear the crickets? <laughs> Cat had here on YouTube mentioned that it might be mating frogs. I mean, it could some of it, some of it probably could be. For sure. There's no reason why it couldn't be. Let's see, let's make that a little bigger. Because I just realized after reading your comment and after I answered your comment, Kat, I just realized one town over, and not even a town, the little city over, uh, across the way, across the railroad tracks, there actually is, let me explain what I'm doing here. I'm going to make a knot, but I'm trying to make it to where the tail is a bit longer so that I can bring it over to this side. Now, is this a technique that I know and I'm doing? No, I'm making it up while we go, while we're working. See, I'm kind of thinking I want it to come around this way so that the cording doesn't move much. See what I'm saying? Anyways. in a second. Maybe 
this way. Here we go. Come on, secret. Okay, we got it. There we go. I don't know what kind of knot that is that I just made up. Okay. Yes. I like all these little hairs. One more knot. A regular knot. And then I'll leave this tail here because you never know. What if I can hang a charm from it? Okay. So I'm just going to go around like this. Oh, I was saying a little town over, a little city over, less than less than a minute away. And walking would probably take me eight minutes, but on a car it would take me a minute. That little city there is called Frogtown. So yes, it could be frogs mating. <laughs> Actually, it really could be, but... Uh, when I go in my backyard and I walk in certain spots, the crickets will be... they'll just shush. They'll shush. So they quiet down. So some of them are crickets. Um, but I'd like to believe there's mating frogs, strangely. <laughs> okay, you guys know my videos partition themselves. They go into parts. I think that I'll make a playlist called. Uh, I don't know if I have one already. Handmade jewelry? Not sure. Okay, I'm going to want to start the next color. Let me tie this one off. You know, the same with my mixed media. I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to inspire you and show you what I'm doing. There's really no technique, no step-by-step. -step. It's just my jewelry I just like to do whatever comes comes I can actually leave that there and move on to the next fiber maybe some of this stuff Just gonna cut some and use it. Cut more than what I need. It's better that way for me. You know, my neighbors are always yelling at my dogs to shut the F up, and it's annoying. Yet they come home drunk. Ugh, they're just immature people. Yeah, I'm recording. Hello? I'm recording. What do you need? Is there something you can take? My body's hurting. Well, pampering. Yeah.
You know, let me cut that. I actually want to cut it. Oh, but before I cut it, I should probably connect these two. No, I won't connect them. It's going to be chunky looking. That's fine with me. wondering if I got gloss in my finger from the bead. That would not be good. I feel something when I run my fingers together. 